Ten yards on that play. The fake to Snell, then throws it out of the safety valve to Bowden, makes a man miss in trouble and completely changes direction, and he's got daylight and blockers in front. Down the sideline, cutting it back. He's tripped. Go, this is from 43, and it's blocked. Kentucky will get it with great field position. Here comes the press. Bubble to Snell. First down, Kentucky. Snell popping pads. Wilson comes over to take the snap. Throw the deep ball. He's got Bowden down there. And it's caught near the 25-yard line. Field and two timeouts in their pocket. Tony, another great one as Bowden feels it at the 35-yard line. And here he goes again inside the 40. Forget it. Lynn Bowden puts Kentucky right back in the game. And that is a catch. Rolling now. Wilson fakes. And that is a catch made at the 20. Here. That's a quick throw to Bowden. Bowden straddles the side. But do we see number 26 with the ball with the game on the line? One play for the win. Wilson will throw. In zone. Touchdown. C.J. Conrad. Kentucky with one of the more improbable wins beats Missouri 15-14. Pressure from the edge, blind side, got him! DeAndre Square with a sack, and the ball may have come out. Kentucky football! Why that tells Will Levis that LSU is going to play some form of zone coverage on the back end. Trips to the right. Levis finds the hole in that zone for a first down and more. First and goal, Kentucky after the completion. Quick snap here. To throw, end zone, touchdown! Chris Rodriguez Jr. Perfect 8 for 8 start. They will run it. And on third down, Tyron Davis Price is able to pick up three. And Huge hole. First down run to midfield by Chris Rodriguez Jr. It goes for. I think those big boys get out in space. They get a little nervous, though. Rodriguez over 2,000 yards, 10th in Kentucky history. Wide open again, this is Justin Rigg. And everything Liam Cohen is dialing up is working for the Cats. Time for Kentucky as we start the second quarter. Cavassier smoke now in a tailback. Play action, Levis up balance, top touchdown! Wondell Robinson. I believe I failed. <laughs> Kavassi smoke breaks free. Out to the 40. A run of 32 for Kavassi smoke. Robinson, receiver near side. And they'll hand it off. It's a huge hole, Rodriguez. Kentucky just gashing LSU in the run game. 21 yards. With Liam Cohen. Will Levis, this was the fit for him. On the draw, plenty of room for Kavashi. Smoke again. He's got the first down. 16 seconds left in the half. Kentucky hit. It's just a matter of now executing, and they've done it so far tonight. Long handoff. Here's Rodriguez. Big run. Pass midfield. Good running backs to run it between the tackles. Here's another one. Kavashi Smoke bullies his way for a first down. Now first and ten. Levis is going to take off himself. And he will bounce off for a first down and a spin move. Will Levis motors his way to the five. 
When I say juice, it means he's got some explosiveness, some speed. Thank you. Some juice, Tom. Here's Rodriguez. The shove to the goal line. The rugby scrum stops just inside the one. Damone Clark is there. This is a pip second and goal. QB sneak. No signal, and Levis stop short, I suppose. In! Touchdown, Kentucky! Butte, nowhere to go. Loss of yardage. Two yards the wrong way, Jacquez Jones. Cats have rushed for 194 yards tonight. There's the toss to Wondell Robinson. Turn the corner. Picked up eight. Averaging nearly nine yards a touch tonight. When will the deep shot come? Here's Rodriguez. And he's going to carry white jerseys with him down to the 41. 11 yards at Terry for carry. Second down three. Smoke is in the backfield now. Here's Robinson moving. Cavassier smoke to the 20. I mean, I got to be honest. This is just a Kentucky team imposing its will on LSU. Levis will keep it. Touchdown, Kentucky. They beefed up for that fight, too, both of them heavier than they were for the second fight. Levis slant complete. Wondell Robinson. 16 yards. What? Here's Cavassier smoke. Here's another Kentucky first down. 16 yards. Go up even more. And he's well aware of the outside noise, the rumors, the rumblings, the pressure. He said, listen, I'm from this state. I know how important it is to win at LSU. Wide open. Jatan McClain. Kentucky piling it on. Took the T-tops off and everything. Big first down. Chris Rodriguez, Jr. Football, NIL stuff, get to know these personalities, these players a little bit more as they're incentivized to open up more and more of their life on social media. That hole opened up for Rodriguez. Touchdown, Kentucky! Fourth down. Johnson had bench for a moment. Now he's covered, and now Johnson goes down. Another sack for Kentucky. Fourth of the night for the Wildcats. And they force a turnover on downs. But this is a talented LSU football team that they're just pushing around. QB sneak a flag, but it would have been converted. Cole on the other side for LSU. This, this is a tough pill to swallow for Coach O. Here's Will Levis again. Mingio likes this one, but probably flip on some Georgia tape tonight. Oh, yeah. Because everything they wanted is in front of them. Every An undefeated time. season, a chance to win the East, and it'll boil down to the next trip. Last week against Georgia either. Tennessee's converted a pair of third downs on this drive. This is third and 11. Garantano pressured and taken down by Boogie Watson. It's a loss of seven. Got to seal him off, just at least get in his way. Oh, boy. Ball came out. Kentucky says they took it back. And did we see a signal yet? Kentucky football. Kennedy, the center, pointing out to Jamin Davis right before the snap. Garantano to the edge. Picked off! Intercepted by Kentucky in a free run. Lots of green for Kelvin Joseph. His second pick in his many games. And a pick six puts the Cats on the board. A first down. Garantano intercepted again. Jamin Davis finds the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him unless it's Garantano. 
and he's got blockers in front. Davis will stumble into the end zone. A 75-yard interception return for Kentucky. Second down, 21 for J.T. Shrout. First pass attempt. Pulls it back, lets it go, and that is intercepted again! Kentucky's got another takeaway! Tyrell Asian came away with that one. Miss game they lost by one in overtime. And he drills it through Kentucky on top of Tennessee. 17 0 after a six play 25 yard drop. On second and 10 to the slant. That's complete to Ali, and he takes it to the 40 for a first down on a pickup of 16. Wilson. Throws on second down. That's complete to Allen Daly and a Kentucky first down. Kentucky's found some holes in that zone on this drive. A first down, hesitation and explosion. Rodriguez, a stiff arm inside the 20. They're going to vacate Wilson. Rodriguez will take the direct snap and he'll power forward for the first down. Unbalanced to the left, or at least a tackle on that side. Wilson going to throw. Man coverage. Caught! Touchdown, Kentucky. Allen Daly with a shove of Bryce Thompson to get a little bit of room, and that's all he needed. Pressure from the edge. Garantano never saw it. Lost the football after he was down. And it was picked up by one of his offensive linemen, Jordan Wright. Aaron Calvert at left tackle, trying to get some space that time, and his man will end up making the stop after Eric Gray was slow to get there. It'll be interesting to see when it all shakes down how the college football playoff committee views the SEC all schedule versus shortened schedules for other leagues. And second and two, first down Rodriguez. Wilson keeps it, finds the edge to the 10. And he will yield to the defense at the changes. Rodriguez again. And he slides in for a Kentucky touchdown. Two-yard plunge for Chris Rodriguez. Blitz off the edge. Emory Jones, quarterback keeper. And now an early decision for Dan Mullen to make. Jaquez Jones brings him down. That is to throw on first down. It'll turn around to Ali. He's got a first down. And a gain of 15 out to the 40-yard line. Seeing on when you're going down, don't allow the ball to separate from your body. Tuck it. Cross cover in traffic. Rodriguez again. And he moves the chains again. And last week, even in a for this offense so far. Wide receiver screen. The first time Wondell Robinson's got his hands on the football. And he's a difference maker. Robinson breaking tackles. That's good. Touchdown. <laughs> Only a three-man rush. Emory Jones floats one. Got hit as he released. Justin Shorter immediately brought down. And Florida will punt. They keep it on the ground, and Malik Davis lost at least four more. Pascal through to make a tackle for loss back. Back to Wondell Robinson. The second time he's been targeted. The first time was a 41-yard touchdown. And this one's first half. No turnovers. That has been their bugaboo. Here goes Chris Rodriguez starting off the second half with a chunk run. He picks up 16. Chris Budden, you spoke with the particular night of playing with effort and discipline and technique. Christman from 48. It's blocked. Kentucky makes a play on special teams. Now they're ripping off a return. 78 yards. Touchdown. Field this evening. Green pass, Robinson, stutter step to the edge for a first down, and a little extra out of bounds, there's the flag. Rodriguez, across the 50, carrying tacklers, very close to a Kentucky first down, Diabato. Who we are, 
and challenge Florida to stop you. Toss to Rodriguez. And just enough for a first down. You'd be smart if you will Levis with the football here. Only a three-man rush. Levis out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it under and run. Hurdles a man. And close to the first down, about two yards shy. Oh, now it's full to communicate with your Emory Jones. It's tough. you got to be very, very clear with what you're saying. There's a four-man rush. He's going to fire one up the seam. That's intercepted. Picked up by J.J. Weaver. Did he lose the football on the way down? I think he did. There's a scramble for him. Who's got it? Kentucky still has the ball. Aaron Snap. Levis picks it up and just moves the pile straight forward and gets a push. He's got the first down and more. A broken play to a third down conversion. Here, I still believe that our offensive line is winning the line of scrimmage. To gamble. Bottled up. No gain on first down. Lexington. Quarterback run again for Jones. To the five yard line. It will be third down and goal. And the clock winding down as well. False start. Another one for the Gators. False start. Offense. Offensive line. Watch, there's the clap, and the guards, both Stuart Reese and White, are kind of anticipating. That's seven or eight tonight. Not Jones pumps once under pressure. Flag out. Oxendine pushed him to the sideline. Personal foul. Face mask, number 90, defense. Half the distance from the previous spot, first down. That's Ripka. Watch, does he get the left hand there? Well, that was actually Oxendine. They got the wrong player. Unless Ripka comes in late. No, it was... Green to Copeland, breaks a tackle, he's in! Didn't it look like his right knee went down? Did they call him down? I did not hear a whistle. The player still reacted as if the play was alive. I think his right knee goes down right at the point of catch. Slip, yeah. An official came in and right there said that he was down back at the eight yard line. Previous play is under further review. Well, they're going to re flag down. This play blown dead again. I, I think the tailback jumped. Before the snap, false start. Number 20, offense. My guard penalty. Still second down. False start that stops the clock inside of a minute and incurs a 10 second runoff. Watch Malik Davis, 20 on the right side of your screen here. Timeout to avoid the 10 second yep. runoff. This is their first charge timeout. And now, see that's a football move. You know, he's allowed second down to give us five, six, seven yard range. Quarterback run. Emory Jones run to, runs into his own man and backs his way down to about the 11 yard line and Dan Mullen calls timeout. Put your eyes on number four. Top of your screen defensive end for Kentucky. Pascal back in. Emory Jones, only a three-man rush. Floats one left. There's Malik Davis. Bottled up and pushed out of bounds inside the tent. It'll come down to one play. Best receivers. Here we go. Fourth and goal. One play for the Gators. Emory Jones into the end zone. Broken up at the goal line by Jones.
will win it. All that's left is for Levis to take a knee, and that makes it official. The celebration is on in Lexington. was Wilson. Snell will take it. He's got the first down and he's rumbling for plenty more. Miscommunication in the secondary for Florida. Wilson has to scramble and he's got plenty of room down the sideline. Terry Wilson finally forced out of bounds by Donovan Steiner. It's a quarterback dash. It covers 31 yards. Wilson leaves the pocket, throws off his back foot, in zone! Touchdown, Kentucky! David Bouvier, a 29-yard touchdown reception. Second and one, and he wants to throw. They get their hands on him and take him down. Phil Hoskins with the sack of Felipe Franks. It's a loss of nine. Plenty of action in the backfield. Wilson finally escapes with a spin move. He's got a first down run for Kentucky on a 14-yard scramble. Three missed tackles for Florida's defense. Pressure again. And Wilson somehow completes it. It's Taven Richardson who takes it for 18. And we got a chain link keeping track of 10 yards. They'll move that chain. And maybe they will just lay it down. Here's Benny Snell into Florida territory. Finally tracked down by C.J. Henderson. A 44-yard romp for the SEC's leading rusher a year ago. Pressure coming. He will retreat. Now Wilson trying to add lib. He's got a first down. And he gets smoked from behind as he takes it past the 30. A 19-yard run. And so as you said, Wilson will vacate Snell to take the direct snap. And he punches his way through and nearly broke out of there. Out of the pistol. Snell to the outside. And he ducks his way through for another first down. I mean, and on the flip fake, Terry Wilson's going to take it to the edge and in. Kentucky back in front on a 24-yard run by Terry Wilson. And then obviously, you got Tim Couch, number one overall draft pick, throwing the football to Craig East. You think about those two teams not being able to get a, get a win against Florida. Just mind-boggling. Top here. That's Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Swing pass to Bowden. Stiff arm, room on the sideline, and finally popped by Donovan Steiner. Play action. Wilson lets it go. Bowden gets deep. Got it! Touchdown, Kentucky! 54 yards to silence the crowd at the swamp. You might never hear a stadium get that loud and that quiet that quickly. They came out looking deep early in the series. Franks intercepted! It's Darius West and Kentucky has the takeaway here in the fourth quarter with an 11 point lead. And here, Frank steps up. Hit as he falls, it falls incomplete and they catch a break. Four seconds left. Mark Stoops is saying it was a fumble. They have not whistled it dead, and they will get it down to the goal line. And now the line judge says, touchdown, Kentucky. Unbelievable.
Mark Stoops was yelling, go, go, go. And they're going to take a long look at this one. See it here again. That big loop. Felipe Frank's got a big arm, but he does loop the ball in his takeaway. Here's the call. After further review, the ruling on the field of a fumble is confirmed. A touchdown was scored by Kentucky at the end of the play. Game is over. Kentucky fans can excel. Finally, the streak is dead.